Okay, let's take a look at what this question is asking. Okay, we're told that we have a quantum system that has three energy levels. So let's go ahead and sketch those out, okay? I've got three possible energy levels. And let's label them one, two, and three. Now, if I have three possible energy levels, that means that I have three possible transitions. An electron could fall from state three down to state one, could fall from state three to state two, or it could fall from state two down to state one. So if I'm looking at the emission spectrum, which corresponds to electrons falling from upper states into lower states, there's three possible wavelengths that I would expect. There's a wavelength corresponding to this transition, one corresponding to this transition, and one corresponding to this transition. So there are three wavelengths in the spectrum. Now we're told what two of the wavelengths are. We're told that one is 248 nanometers, and we're told that one is 414 nanometers. Now we're also told this. The shortest observed wavelength is 248 nanometers. We're, we're told that. Now the shortest possible wavelength is going to correspond to the biggest possible energy because we know the energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant times c divided by the wavelength. So short wavelength corresponds to big photon energy. And the energy of the photon is equal to the difference of these two energy states. And the biggest difference is going to be E3 minus E1. E3 minus D1 is going to correspond to the shortest possible wavelength. Now 248 nanometers, okay, we can convert that to an energy using this relationship up here. The energy of this photon is Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Those are all numbers that we know. And if I work out the energy of that particular photon, it corresponds to 5.01 electron volts. Okay, and this is a three significant figure problem, so I'm keeping three significant figures here. And that's the energy corresponding to the transition from state three to state one. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and calculate the energy corresponding to the 414 nanometer photon. Okay, 414 nanometer photon. The energy of that photon, again, using the same calculation, h times c divided by lambda, just a different wavelength this time, is an energy of 3.00 electron volts. Okay? So, here's the photon energy corresponding to a transition from state 3 to state 1. That's my biggest possible transition. I also have one for three electron volts. Now let's take a look at this. Let's suppose that state one corresponded to zero electron volts, and we can assume that if we wish. That means that state three is going to correspond to 5.01 electron volts. Okay? Now we're told also we have this 414 nanometer photon in the emission spectrum. That corresponds to a difference of three electron volts. I'm just going to assume that corresponds to this transition right here. So that means that state two has an energy of 3.0 electron volts. And so it cor this photon corresponds to a transition from state two down to state one. Okay? So this is our preparation. We've completely specified this quantum system. And now, we're ready to solve. And the solution is this. We're looking for the third wavelength in the spectrum. We look at our quantum system. 3 to 1 corresponds to 5.1 electron volts, 248 nanometers. 3, state 2 down to state 1 corresponds to 3 electron volts of a transition, which corresponds to 414 nanometers. The remaining transition is state 3 to state 2. So we're looking for that transition, okay? The energy, the energy of the photon corresponding to the transition from state 3 to state 2. And we know what it has to be because it goes from a state of 5.01 electron volts to one with a state of 3 electron volts. So the energy of the transition is 5.01 electron volts minus 3.00 electron volts. So the energy of the transition is just 2.01 electron volts. And I can take that and I can convert that into the wavelength of the photon because the wavelength of a photon is just equal to Planck's constant times C divided by E. That's just a rewriting of this relationship right here. 2.01 electron volt photon 
is equal to a wavelength of 618 nanometers. Okay, so it's 2.01 electron volts corresponds to wavelength of 6. 618 nanometers. Now let's go ahead and assess our result and see if this makes sense. And here's our assessment. We've got three possible energy states, just like we knew we had to have. The longest wavelength is 248 nanometers. That corresponds to a transition of about five electron volts. We also have wavelength that corresponds to about three electron volts. So the third state has to be a smaller energy. Three down to one is five electron volts. 2 down to 1 is 3 electron volts. This is about 2 electron volts. That's, in fact, what we found. And so it's got to correspond to the longest wavelength in the spectrum. And the wavelengths are 248, 414. And in fact, we find this one is the longest wavelength, 618 nanometers. And so our final result, when all said and done, matches our understanding about how the world works.